Shaders in Minecraft 1.19.3. We're going to be showing you how to download it, how to install it, how to get it up and running, how to add multiple shaders packs to Minecraft, and even how to switch between those packs. We're all going to be doing this using Optifine as well, meaning if you want to use it with Forge in the future, you can. So let's go ahead and get things up and running and get things going with shaders. Now the first step for getting shaders is getting shaders packs. Think about shaders packs like resource packs. Each one is different and has their own unique features, but at the end of the day, they all add in shaders to Minecraft, just like resource packs all add in different textures to Minecraft. In the description down below, we have this list. It's the best Minecraft shaders for 2023. It is updated with every new Minecraft release, and we go through and add in awesome shaders. We also make sure they're compatible with the versions, as well as what their Mac support is, for those of you who are on Mac OS. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and scroll down here, and we're going to be grabbing my two favorite shaders packs. BSL shaders, just right-click and open it, and then right after that, Makeup Ultra Fast. Why are these my favorite? Well, Makeup Ultra Fast gives you the best FPS while still looking great, and BSL shaders just looks amazing. Like, let's just be honest. But for Makeup Ultra Fast, it takes you to Curse Forge. And on Curse Forge, every shaders pack is going to be the same. Look at the right-hand sidebar and scroll down to the recent file section. Now, any shaders pack for Minecraft 1.19, any version of 1.19, will work with Minecraft 1.19.3. However, shaders packs aren't necessarily updated with every version and yet still work. So, for example, 1.16 packs can still work in 1.19. So don't be turned off from a shaders pack just because it's not available for Minecraft 1.19. So if that's the case, just go download a shaders pack. Worst thing you have to do is uninstall it, remove it, and delete it. And then guess what? You tried a shaders pack, it didn't work, you deleted it, and now you move on. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the yellow download button here next to the 1.19 version of Makeup Ultra Fast, and after a few seconds, the download will begin. Once it has begun, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. As long as you're downloading a shaders pack from our website, like through the links that we provide on our website, it is 100% safe to download. It is also good practice to make sure the file name is similar to the name of the pack you're downloading. So Makeup Ultra Fast, Makeup Ultra Fast checks out. Now for BSL shaders, it's a bit more complicated. Once you're here, you click BSL shaders, and then you can scroll down, or then you can click download, excuse me, and then you can scroll down and click the download via Curse Forge button. The download will then begin after a few seconds. While this is downloading, have a our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love to say Apex so much, we host every Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So, if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown .xyz slash Apex. And by the way, if you have any issues, they have 24 hours, seven day a week support to help you out. The BSL shaders just downloaded, same sort of thing. BSL is in the file name, so it's good to keep or save it. Now, last but not least, we need Optifine. Optifine is the basically loader of your shaders packs. It's what allows your shaders packs to work in Minecraft. To get Optifine, you want to go to the third link in the description down below. That takes you here. This is our in-depth guide on Optifine. And when I say in-depth, I mean in-depth. It goes over everything troubleshooting issues, using shaders. It even has its own subsection on installing shaders packs here, right? However, what you want to be focused on is when you get to this website, just clicking on the download Optifine button. By the way, if you do have any issues later on with Optifine, this is where you can get help. It's a super in-depth guide, like I said. But anyway, click download Optifine here and it takes you to the official Optifine download page. Now, at the time I'm recording this, Optifine 1.19.3 is still in beta. So that means it's not here unless you click on preview versions. But if you don't have preview versions and you just have a version listed out like this, go ahead and use that one, right? As you can see, the layout's the exact same once you click on preview versions, but if you don't have preview versions, just use the one that's there because it's more up to date. And if the numbers are different, you have a different version number, anything like that, that's a good thing because it means it's more up to date and less bugs. But nevertheless, under preview versions here, we do have this version. We always want to click mirror. That's just going to bypass a little ad there. So if we click on mirror, it takes us directly to the download page for 1.19.3 Optifine. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the blue download button and the download will begin after a few seconds. Now, just like with all of our other files, you may need to keep or save Optifine, but make sure it does say Optifine as the title. As you can see in the bottom left, it does. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and let's move all of this to our desktop. It's not going to live there forever, just until we get it installed. To do that, click the little Windows icon, then the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. Open up the File Explorer, by my search will work here. Type in Downloads, there we go. Open up File Explorer, and then what we want to do is on the left-hand side, scroll down to this PC. 
click on that, and then you have this downloads folder, open that, and there we have Optifine, BSL shaders, and Makeup Ultra Fast. Drag and drop all of these to your desktop for ease of use. Now, first things first, we actually wanna start off with Optifine, right? To do that, right click on Optifine, click on open with, click Java, and click okay. But Nick, I don't have Java, or you do have Java, and your icons don't look like mine, or you don't have Java and your icons are broken. Basically, if one, you don't have Java in that open with menu, or two, your icons don't look like mine, how can you fix it? Well, you need to download Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Shaders and Optifine are Minecraft mods, so you need Java 17. It's also required for Minecraft servers. So it's kind of a win-win for starting Minecraft servers, I should say. So come here, again, in-depth guide on our website. It covers everything, covers issues you may have. It is the most in-depth guide for getting Java for Minecraft. Once you've got that though, you may still need to run the jar fix. And what the jar fix is gonna do is take all the Java files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. So all those jar files, it'll link them back to Java. You need to get Java 17 first, then run the jar fix, and then your icons will be fixed. Everything will look like mine here, and most importantly, we can get Optifine installed. Again, doing that, right click, click on open with, click Java, and click okay. That opens up the Optifine installer. What's great about the Optifine installer is it's pretty simple in and of itself. Just click install and it will install. Now, the only reason this won't work is if one, you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open. If that's the case, close out of both of those, close out of the Optifine installer, reopen it, and then click that install button again. Or two, you've never, played Minecraft 1.19.3 before. If that's the case, go play it literally. Just start it, open it to the main menu, and then once you're on the main menu, close out of it, come back, open up the Optifine installer, and click install, and you'll get this. Optifine successfully installed. You can click OK, it'll close out of the Optifine installer, and you can delete the Optifine installer. We don't need it anymore. Now, let's get our shaders packs installed. To do this, we wanna open up the Minecraft launcher, and then we wanna open up Minecraft with Optifine. By default, I'm going to have a profile selected here. So if we look here next to the play button, we will be able to see that there is an Optifine profile that most importantly has 1.19.3-Optifine on it. If you have that, awesome. Click play, click play again, and skip forward in this video until I get into Minecraft. However, if you don't have this here, click on installations up at the top and make sure modded is selected. You can see I unchecked modded. Modded disappears, Optifine disappears. Anything modded is gone. Now we click on modded again and there it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine or don't have the 1.19.3 version of it, click new installation. Now I'm gonna name this Shaders 1.19.3 because that's what we're doing in this video. And then most importantly, we wanna click on the version dropdown box. And then in this dropdown box, we wanna select release 1.19.3 dash Optifine. So go ahead and select that. I'm also going to change the resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see once we get in game. Now let's go ahead and click create in the bottom right. And we have this new shaders 1.19.3 profile with the correct version of Optifine, 1.19.3 Optifine under it. Hover over this, click play, click play again. And now Minecraft will open up with Optifine up and running. The hard part's over. That's the hardest part, getting Optifine. Once you've got Optifine, it's super easy to add shaders. Let me show you how to do it from the Minecraft main menu. When we're here, what we want to do is click on Options, Video Settings, Shaders. So again, that was a little fast, let's do it again. From the main menu, click Options, Video Settings, Shaders. Once you're here, it's actually incredibly easy to install. Just click Shaders folder in the bottom left. That's gonna open up your Shaders folder, and then in the Shaders Packs folder here, just drag and drop any Shaders Packs you want to install. So just take them from your desktop and drag them, drop it them, into this folder. Once they're in this folder, what we want to do is close out of it, and there they are in game. Now, most likely you don't have your shaders pack selected. Just select it, just click on it, right like so. It will reload Minecraft, and then boom, there we go, it is activated. One way of knowing is you'll have all of this unlocked over here, as well as a shaders options button in the bottom right. So if we go ahead and zoom into Minecraft, we will actually be able to see that there's a lot you can do in shaders options change the lighting, atmospherics, change your profile. So you want a little more performance, a little higher FPS, change the low profile of this pack. Now every pack is going to be different. Some don't even have many shaders options at all, but some do and that is worth noting here because it is a great way to improve FPS with shaders. Let's go ahead and jump in game. You'll see that shaders packs is working, but you can also change your shaders in game as well and I want to show you that. So once we're in game, your shaders pack is running. We've got shadows, we've got, you know, the sun, we've got, you know, volumetric clouds, the water, all oh, that's, it's looking good. It's looking good. But what if we want to change our shaders pack? Well, just go ahead and hit escape and then go into options, 
Video Settings, Shaders. So just like the main menu, go into Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and now this time we can change to another pack. So if we click on Makeup Ultra Fast, it's going to reload Minecraft in the background, click Done, and boom, now we are on Makeup Ultra Fast. It's kind of hard to see the difference, but there is a difference. As you can see, the clouds are a bit different when cars volumetric in this goes. The sun's a bit more square, and the shadows are a little less pronounced. One thing that we can really do, though, is go into our shaders options. Yes, these can even be activated in-game, and turn them down to shadowless. Now, this is going to be weird, but it's going to remove the shadows, as you can see. Why would you want this? I don't really know, but it really increases your FPS. I'm getting over 200 FPS right now with this shadowless mode. So, nevertheless, that's how you can get shaders in Minecraft 1.19.3. If you have any questions, join our support Discord at the link in the description down below. I'm over there, as well as an awesome community is over there to help you out with any Minecraft issues you have. Nevertheless, I'll see you in the next one. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.